was an Ethiopian, a eunuch, a court official of Candace, queen of the Ethiopians, who was in charge of all her treasure. He had come to Jerusalem to worship. And he was returning, seat in his chariot, and he was reading the prophet Isaiah. And the spirit said, Philip, go over and join this chariot. So the Philip ran over and heard him reading Isaiah. The prophet asked, do, do, you, do you understand uh, what you're reading? And he says, how can I unless someone guides me? And he invited, he invited Philip to come up and sit with him. Now, the passage of the scripture that he was reading was this. Like a sheep, he was led to the slaughter. Like a lamb before his shears is silent. So he opens not his mouth in his humiliation. Justice was denied him. Who can describe his generation? For his life is taken away from the earth. And the eunuch said to Philip, about whom I ask you, does the prophet say this? About himself or about someone else? Then Philip opened his mouth and beginning with this scripture, he told him the good news about Jesus and as they were going along, they came to some water, and the eunuch says, see, here's water. What prevents me from being baptized? And he commanded the chariot to stop, and they both went down in the water, and the eunuch was baptized with him. But the key is, is that verse right there. Then he opened his mouth. Then Philip opened his mouth, and beginning with this scripture, he told him the good news, which is what, so Sherry, in the Greek, what does that mean? The good news is the gospel. The gospel. So he didn't want to accept it because he knew he'd been debunked. Uh-huh. 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 That's why I said, listen, they can take Matthew through Revelation if they wanted to. But guess what? It's still there. You know where it's at? In the Old Testament. You can't get rid of the New Testament. The New Testament is already right there within the Old Testament scriptures. Remember, they, they love to thump on, well, Jesus come in the volume of the book. You're right. He does. Yeah. From Genesis all the way to Revelation. He sure does. Mm -hmm. So do you realize what you just said to me? I don't need to go to Matthew and Revelation. I can debunk you directly from the Old Testament scriptures, which is preaching New Testament. Silly. Ta-da! Any questions? Why you think what you see? What, listen, listen, I'll just give you a few examples that I have already given you, right? That we have already given you. Joseph, Jacob, Abraham, Hosea, Jeremiah. Why am I running these prophets? <laughs> Because guess what? Even in the New Testament, it told you that Moses wrote of who? He wrote of Christ. In Jeremiah 23, he speaks about the gospel. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm, yeah, go ahead. Mm -hmm. The first, the first seven, seven um, verses, he's speaking about this new branch, the branch of David, the root of David. Who is that? That's Jesus Christ. Isaiah, who has believed our report? I've seen him high and lifted up in his train. His diadem filled the temple. Who did, who did Isaiah see in Isaiah chapter 6? He's seen Christ. Who did Hagar see in Genesis 31, R-N-O? When you slammed Sheikah Tiba in the chat. Oh, yeah, sister, I seen the whole thing. I seen it all. I was there watching. Yeah. When you pointed out Genesis 31, the angel of the Lord. Don't you remember that, sister R.N.O.? I know you do. Because I watched you. 
Mm -hmm. The entire time. Yep, me and Brother Brian, we talked about it. Sure did. Mm -hmm. Had a good time talking about you, sis. Wonderful job, right? 